Gkinetic Energy is a Limerick-based developer of hydrokinetic solutions. We are pioneering a new concept of distributed hydrokinetic power stations starting right here in Ireland. If a home or a business or any energy demand is near a flowing water source and you want to extract clean, sustainable energy from it without the use of dams or major civil infrastructure and without affecting biodiversity, what are the options? For example, this river behind me here is approximately 35 metres wide, varies between 0.6 and 3 metres in depth, and generally this sort of river is not considered suitable for hydrokinetic energy for two reasons. Number one, it's too shallow, and number two, it's too slow. Geokinetic's new concept addresses both of these issues, and successful adoption of this concept would mean thousands of sites that would previously have been considered unfeasible can now become viable sources of clean, local, reliable energy for homes and businesses. Our core product is a modular floating water turbine that can be deployed in any free-flowing water resource, such as rivers, canals or estuaries, and instantly start generating power. The unit can go into water depths as low as 50 centimetres and requires a channel width of minimum 3 metres. When running at full capacity, it will generate 3 kilowatts. We also have a larger unit that outputs 12 kilowatts and requires 2 metres depth. So taking the sample site outlined by Gary, if we were to install just one of these smaller units, while it would produce power, it wouldn't be making enough for a compelling payback. If we use our modular array approach, we install a number of units across the full width of the river. And thanks to our turbine's unique and patented design, it enables the river to maximise the energy potential while keeping it free flowing, so fish and river users can still get by freely. Our turbines rotate outwards very slowly and are incredibly safe. We have received planning permission in an Atura 2000 site for an array of these units, which shows the environmental friendliness of the design. Using this approach, in this sample river, we would have a total install capacity of 21 kilowatts, outputting an average 60,000 kilowatt hours per year. And that's just in one meter's depth, one station of units. That's enough to power seven to eight Irish average homes. I'm Johannes Huth, I uh, live on a farm uh, and we have the River Shore running through our premises. And we've been looking to sustainable energy solutions and solar PV is, is one obvious solution because it's available on the market and uh, we installed a system in 2023 uh, that works pretty well but obviously during winter time the production is dropping and uh, that's actually the time when we have a higher energy demand. I was looking into additional solutions and found Geokinetic and saw that the solution is working in low flowing water which we have in the river shore so there's not, not a lot of drop but the flow is constant and yeah I'm excited to see it being rolled out into our river at one point as well. So there's many renewable technologies that farmers can get involved in whether it's solar, wind, they're intermittent technologies. Of course, hydro is a more consistent technology. If you have the right flow, yes, you do have the advantage that you're getting continuous electricity generation, especially during the winter period when your uh, technologies like solar do not generate that same amount of electricity. So you're getting that consistent electricity generation with hydro, and that is an advantage. And there is that potential to reduce their energy costs, reduce their electricity bills, you have dairy farmers who use quite a bit of electricity, it could be anywhere between 40,000 kilowatt hours per year, maybe up to over 100,000 kilowatt hours of electricity per year. A lot of the barriers to the adoption of a renewable technology like solar has been improved. And I suppose that should be the case in relation to all renewable technologies. Farmers will, I suppose, look at those technologies if the barriers are removed. Like what's happened in the case of solar, especially when grants are given as well, you will see rapid adoption. The recent storms in early 2025 highlight our energy vulnerability. Hundreds of thousands were left without power, some for weeks. And with the current political situation, it's very turbulent times. We should be looking to mobilise every local energy asset we have. And if it's also clean and reliable, it's absolutely something that the government and local energy authorities should be getting behind and supporting. Ireland has 73,000 kilometres of rivers and we're focusing in on those that meet ideal site requirements and there are thousands of them, huge potential. We have pilot customers identified, sites lined up and the technology is now ready for commercial pilots. We need support and backing to make this a reality. 